So lots of things you're not going to know. You're not going to know how big it can be. You're not going to know whether it's going to be successful, right? I mean, you know, you're, uh, th this is the beginning of your business. But you need to be very explicit in agreement that you both believe that this can be really big and, and or, or not. This is going to be kind of a, a business that's just going to support the two of you. What, what is that? And there's no right answers here, but you need to have the same answers. And the way you do that is by having a conversation and writing things down. And we'll talk about that more in a minute. And then I see a few more people have joined us. Welcome. Um, I want to um, remind people during the webinar that you need to download the handouts from the handouts uh, section um, during the webinar. They won't be available. The tools will not be available after the webinar to you. Um, and if you have questions or anything like that, you can just write them in the little questions box, and I will see them and um, respond to them. OK, so back to Keys for Success. Talking about money. Nobody likes to talk about money, right? I mean, that's just kind of a classic problem. But you have to. How will you manage the money? This is a lot more than simply how much each of you will be contributing or how much each of you will take out. It includes who's handling the money, how and how much you want to reinvest in the business. What are the personal needs and expectations that each of you have? It's easy to put this conversation off. Don't do that. You need to, if, if you're not comfortable talking about money with this person, then you probably shouldn't go into business with them. You need to have compatible styles and complementary skills. Um, what is that? You need to be able to get along, right? <laughs> you're going to be spending a lot of time with this person. And if you don't like them, um, that's going to be, uh, become very problematic. You also want to be able to each bring something valuable to the table. So, you know, if you have two great salespeople, um, sometimes then it can be hard to, to have anybody who's actually delivering on what you're selling, right? If somebody's not able to actually make things work. Um, if you have two great operations people, you may end up killing each other if you don't agree on how you're going to be operated. You know, like, but I'm doing this. No, I'm doing it. So forth. So you really want to think that through. And that goes into clearly defining the roles that you each are going to play in the company. You want to play to your strengths, um, but you also want to make sure that you're each clear on who is responsible for what. Again, don't just make assumptions. You want to make sure that you, um, that you have this written down. Some people say that there's always a big idea person and a get stuff done person. Um, and that's probably true more often than not. not. Uh, you need to each respect that, right? If you're the big idea person, you need to not overvalue the importance of the idea when the get stuff done person is the one who's responsible for making things happen. On the other hand, if you're the get stuff done person, you need to value the, the vision and um, kind of intellectual ability of the big idea person, right? Or you're going to end up being resentful. So, this is something you need to be able to talk through and understand and, and respect each other. And you also then need to figure out how you make a decision when you can't agree on something. And this gets back into kind of the, the ownership split. The problem with 50-50 is that you never, you, you typically in a 50-50 relationship never have the ability to make a decision if you both don't agree. And then lastly, Understand each other's commitment to the company, right? Don't assume that the other person is as committed as you are. Talk about it. Write it down. What other responsibilities does this person have? I mean, frequently when you're starting a business with, at all, whether it's with somebody else or on your own, you may have a day job, right? Or, or you certainly have other life responsibilities. Who's going to be doing what and, and how does that play out? Um, you need to write it down in order to identify um, areas of disagreement. And that's the purpose of this next tool. OK. I really like this tool a lot. Um, what it does is it gives you kind of a checklist to go through um, on different areas, right? Kind of self-evident here. 
um, the future direction of the company, money issues, and um, communication styles. So um, let's talk about what how you how you might use this. And my theory on these uh, growth field web, or worksheets is that there's no right way or wrong way. Whatever works for you. Um, but typically what you would do is you'd sit down with the other person, you kind of go through, for instance, mission, vision, and identity. You want to have this written down. Do you each have a clear position or, you know, and, and, and is it a different position? So it may be that you're kind of fuzzy on this right now. So you want to get some clarity around that because you want this column, sorry, I'm having trouble with my mouse, to be yes as far as possible. Um, now, it may be that, for instance, exit, closure, or sale of the company, it's just too early to have a clear position, and that's fine. But these other areas, you really want to be able to, um, to, to clarify so you can determine whether there's a different position. And then you want to be able to write down the agreements between the partners. Let me give you an example. So let's say you're starting a food truck that's focused on healthy food, okay? Your definition of healthy food is that you can still use other ingredients as long, as, long as most of the ingredients are fresh. Um, and uh, your partner believes that healthy food means it's all organic. Okay? This is a real basic uh, disagreement that you're going to have to work out. And if, if, if you can't work it out, you may need to, to not go into business together. But you want to make sure that you've resolved it uh, in advance of starting the business, okay? Um, that's a product disagreement. What about result expectations, right? Result agreements or result disagreements. For instance, you need uh, to support yourself from the business and you view it as a full-time effort. Your partner sees it more as a hobby and doesn't need to, uh, uh, to get as much from the business. So this might not be a problem um, or it could be a huge problem. And so if you need your partner to be focused on this full time and she or he isn't able to or doesn't want to be, uh, that's something you need to know before you get started. Communications then is another, uh, another area down in here. Um, you want to just make sure that you each understand how you want to communicate. Uh, so some people like in-person contact, other people don't. This is a relatively simple discussion to have, um, but it's also easy to just not have because you don't even think about it. Um, if you don't have it, the, the problem can be you end up in a situation where one of you feels like the other one's not communicating. So if one of you likes meetings and one of you prefers texts, um, that doesn't mean you can't be good business partners, but it does mean that you want to understand that so that you can uh, understand and respect each other's communication styles. If anybody has any questions as we go along, feel free to type them in. And again, do remember to download the uh, tools before we are done, which we won't be up for a while, but just a reminder. OK. More problems with my mouse. There we go. More keys for success. So. Uh, as I started to, to say on the previous uh, tool, communication is important. You want to agree on how you will plan to communicate. So it's easy to say, well, we'll be together every day. I mean, of course we're going to communicate. Um, but I mean, how will you make sure to continue discussions about working on the business? Um, not actually delivering product or services to customers, that's important too. Um, but you want to be able to make sure that you can continue to have sort of strategic level discussions um, once you get, get going. Do you agree on that strategy? Are each of you satisfied? Have a, you know, some kind of regular kind of reality check. You know, even if it's just a, a, a cup of coffee um, where you can get away from sort of the day-to-day, -day, uh, sometimes craziness it may feel like, and, and think longer term and, and reflect on how, how are things going, what are you each happy about, what are you each concerned about. So you don't want to let minor disagreements linger um, because, of course, that 
you know, that's a recipe for a mess. So I'm repeating myself here, but this good legal advice is, um, is, ran is not random, right? Make sure that you always have that, rel uh, that relationship documented before you go into net business with another person. And then lastly, good HR practices as you, as you grow. Um, well, what does that mean? Um, specifically in this instance, what I'm, what I'm talking about, because obviously you want to have good HR practices, um, but make sure you hire people that you both agree on. Okay, uh, stacking the deck with people who are aligned with one of you can become sort of a recipe for dysfunction. Um, so if one of you wants to hire, you know, your nephew and the other one isn't super keen about him, um, you really need to talk that through um, because you want to make sure, again, as you have disagreements, that, that you work through them. One of the benefits of having a business partner is that you have somebody to disagree with, right? You each are looking at things in a different way. Uh, and if one person can kind of plow over the other one, uh, you really lose the benefit of having multiple, um, multiple opinions and, and, and viewpoints. Okay. So let's talk about next steps, or ask you to think through next steps. Um, and the, I guess one of the things is to work through these tools on your own. Um, but I'd like to ask if anybody has any questions um, or thoughts about you know, concerns or, or anything like that, um, if you want to share them uh, with me. I mean, I'm not going to attribute them. But if you have any questions, now would be a good time to to pop those out. So I'm going to just stop talking for a minute. So if you have a question, you can type it in. So one of the questions is just a real basic, um, how do we operate? And so um, the Women's Business Development Center works in the Chicagoland area. Um, we provide one-on-one -on -one advising and then workshops, some of which are webinars like today, some of them are in person. Our one-on-one -on -one advising is always provided at no charge. If you'd like to make an appointment to see either um, Meg Herman or myself, if you're in the um, Chicago area, you can give us a call, and I, I have the phone number later on in the, in the later slide, uh, and we can work through one of these tools if you'd like, or if you have other, yeah, I mean, not if you have other issues you want to talk about, because you will certainly have other issues, but if you'd like to talk about those, we can um, uh, kind of coach you through those as well. Um, so again, if you do want to work through other kinds of things, or, or these tools, um, we are happy to do that, Meg and I, with you, and, and those are always available at no charge. We also do a lot of um, growth through the webinars. So there, you can see um, on our website here at the bottom, wbdc.org, uh, you can just go into the events tab and um, register for an upcoming one. Um, one kind of uh, um, little tip is if you go into online business resources, um, or I'm sorry, online business education, in the online business education section, there is um, a, a set of archived webinars. So this webinar is going to be going into that, um, for instance, after it's done. Now, when you go to the archived webinars, which you can look at whenever you want at no charge, you don't have access to the tools because of our license agreement with uh, Growthwheel. So you can then um, just contact me, and we can get you the tools if there's ones that you would like to see. I think someone is trying to, um, oh, I see. Um, OK, so how do we set up an appointment? That's, let me get back. Sorry, I'm having a lot of trouble with my mouse. OK, so um, it, you know, we, we can do in person or, or by phone if you'd like. Um, if you've not filled out one of our intake forms, we have to do that. And usually uh, an appointment is 45 minutes to an hour. And then here's our phone number. 
Um, you just call us at extension 100 and you can meet either Meg Herman or myself um, and she can, uh, our, our receptionist can, can schedule you um, at your convenience. So, are there any other questions? Well, that was easy. Um, if you have not yet downloaded the handouts, this is your last reminder to please go and do that. And if you have any problems downloading them, please shoot me a um, question uh, and we'll make sure that, that you get taken care of. Um, thank you very much for joining the webinar today. And um, we're going to stay on the line for just an, another moment or two to make sure you have a chance to, to get the handouts. And uh, have a great afternoon.